How's it going everybody? Texas Man here. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also do me the biggest favor of all, hit the bell notification button so you guys don't mess out on future videos or streams here on my channel. Also make sure to head over to Twitch and follow me there at Douglas447. I stream there at least once a week. And we're going to be talking about Season 1 of the Mysterious Benedict Society. This is a Disney Plus exclusive TV show and it came out here in 2021. And as always, guys, we're going to talk about positives and negatives. And as always, if you guys have any movies or shows you guys want me to watch and review here on the channel, please let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, the plot is very basic. Basically, this film, I'm sorry, this show is about four orphans, and they each have unique gifts. And they get recruited by Mr. Benedict to save the world from a mind control disaster. Uh, the show has eight episodes for its first season, yet... Thankfully, though, the episodes are over 50 minutes long, and I didn't know this, but the show is actually based on a book series, and season one is based off of the first book. Uh, there are five in total, so there is a chance that we actually could get five seasons, which is pretty cool. Um, and hearing from people that have actually read the books, the show does do a faithful adaptation of the source material. There's great humor, great heart, it's a great entertaining family adventure film and it has a lot of life lessons including empathy truth and uh you know the bond of brothers uh the show does also have a lot of unique characters mixed with some really compelling plots subplots and dialogue also has a really great soundtrack uh the show also addresses the fact that 99 percent of the time the media just gives really sad and bad news, and it's used as a way to make it where you feel sympathetic for the villain doing what he is doing, yet at the same time you also are rooting for the good guys to triumph over the villain of the show. Um, I was also happy that the show was made and not a movie. There's a lot of people that feel like, okay, this could have been made into a movie, they just got out certain parts of it, but I feel that the fact that this was made into a movie was, I'm sorry, made into a show was really great. Uh, the episode that has the first Morse code scene was cool, and it was a great way to do character interactions. Uh, Dr. Curtin as the evil mastermind was also amazing as a villain, especially with him being Benedict's twin brother. This is a great show to watch, but unfortunately I don't think it's worth getting Disney Plus just to watch the show. If you have Disney Plus, I highly encourage you guys to check it out, though. It is really cool and unique in that way. And the show does have a bizarre but satisfying conclusion, and it leaves the door open for future seasons, because obviously there are future books. Negative-wise, Tony Hale is the only actor that I cared about in the show. Everyone else is kind of B or C tier, and they just do the bare minimum for the roles that they're in for most of the time. Uh, also... After the first two episodes, the show's energy and pacing kind of just slows down until the season one finale. Like, they don't, like, bore you to death. They just aren't really as engaging as the first two episodes or the finale. And the show, unfortunately, does have a lot of plot elements and moments where the show feels like a mixture of X-Men, Scooby-Doo, and Spy Kids. And especially in the last episode, the season finale, there's a lot of fight scenes and punching that is done and you wish that you could see it but they're done off screen for whatever reason and it kind of just feels like a lot of bad editing for whatever reason they decided to go with this route like i don't understand why disney thinks punching and having a fight scene in a pg show means where you can't show it and it's all just implied in your head uh i kind of wanted to see the fight scenes because the rest of the time it's just a lot of characters walking around a lot of characters just talking and it basically feels like a Spy Kids Lord of the Rings show. And I wish there was a lot more clashing, literally, of characters. And we really don't get that. The show feels like it's being played really safe. And the show is really catered to a much younger audience. There are some adult themes in the show. But I think that it could do with a little more. And I think that if the show was able to incorporate that, it would definitely be a lot better and maybe we'll get those types of things in season two um season two is possible they haven't confirmed nor to die to season two so let's hope 
And with that, I'm going to give the Mysterious Benedict Society from 2021 a 6 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video or stream.